Good morning. Happy or afternoon. Or afternoon. afternoon. She has a point. Okay. Happy day five. So we're five days into the new year. You should be feeling, you know, like you got a flow going on after a couple of workouts and with our weekend, a little bit of extra 30%. But today for our 101 or how it's done, 101, we're going to talk about something that's so important. It should be like ladies, 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 like attention. Put down whatever you have in your hands, take a seat. This requires attention. Like it should be. Or they'll be like doing multiple things and then hear us be like, the sports bra, and they'll be like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Spoiler alert. All right. We're so talking about bra. picking the right size sports bra. Yes. Right? So it's been a long track to where we've gotten now. Um, I remember like being active growing up. Like I feel like a sports bra didn't even exist. Like, Do you remember holding remember them playing. while you like did high knees? I remember holding them. I would hold yeah. my boobs. I would like play hockey in an underwire bra. Like it was hard to even find. Yeah, like it was really bad. Yeah, it's a bad the, situation. Or when the bones would stick out. Like that's what I'm saying. But, like it's so true. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Not that I played hockey, but like underwire bras in gym class. Yeah. Because the only sports bras that existed were those like super thin. Well, they, they're like I think like Fruit of the Loom made one, and yeah. everybody had it, but it was, there was like absolutely no support. Just the basic ones, like the Calvin Klein ones that we use now to like probably sleep in. Mm -hmm. I sleep in them. You sleep in them, right? Mm -hmm. Like no yes. support, nipples everywhere. Hello. Anyways, that paints a picture. It <laughs> is two, 2021, and things have changed. Yeah. So how do we pick the perfect sports bra? Come on, Leslie. All right, so we, there are a few things to pay attention to. The first thing, super important, is sizing. And not just general sizing, but sizing based on whatever company you're looking at, their sizing chart. Super important. It's worth the $1.50 to go to the dollar store or wherever and get yourself a measuring, um, tape. measuring tape so you can properly measure. Waist is here, bust is right across, and then your cup size, of course. Yes. So don't go down a size or up a size. Like, don't try and do the guesswork. Do the measurement. Because you'll be upset. It'll be wasted money. Yeah, and it then you'll have to do the money. shipping back and all that exactly. stuff. Exactly. So annoying because we can't go in, a lot of us can't go in stores and buy right now. We can't go in stores. So to Jesse's point, like whether you find your size in one company and you love it when you switch to another brand you have to do your homework again you That's have right. to open up that sizing chart again mm -hmm. and you have to remeasure because guess what depending on different times of the month those cup sizes will fluctuate I know for me like they it fluctuates almost an entire cup size depending on the Meso. time of the month yeah. so guess what that means you're gonna need a couple sports bras yeah. and speaking of that there is low support, medium support, and high support. Usually these are the general terms that the companies use to describe how much support you're gonna get. So in terms of activities, the low support is for something like a yoga, yoga. or our mobility day, or um, yeah, yeah. So like housework really. Like this is very low support. This is something <laughs> that like can kind of look nice and cute, but it's not gonna, there's no, com not it's much just compression. Yeah. Uh, medium support is for like a hike, or skiing, like cross country skiing maybe. Or lifting. Or lifting, strength training, depending on what that looks like. Sometimes strength is incorporated into HIT, and HIT we would definitely suggest a high impact. So something like this would need a so lot this more is a test, I was gonna say. We talked about it in one of our previous episodes. So either run or jump and see what's happening. I know you might be saying now like, this is not the right <laughs> We are not listening to it. <laughs> okay, don't do what we do. Do what we say. Okay. Tammy, smaller jumps. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, so that was the test. And also pay attention if you're like, um, well and down in that area, you might want additional closures. So now they have closures at the back, like a regular bra, and then sometimes yeah, even coming at that 45 degree angle or at the front. So if you are unsure or vary in sizes a lot, or if at that time of the month you change your bra size changes a lot, this is a really good option for you because you can like lessen adjust and tighten, them. adjust yes. the straps. So more straps, more adjustments, the better. And finally, the last point is wicking. You want, you don't want to have like a puddle of sweat in that crevice 
you want it to like the sweat to wick away. So look at the fabrics. There's technology for this. <laughs> They're making bra. <laughs> I'm wicking it away. I'm wicking it away. <laughs> All right. So wait, I wicking. have one more point. Yeah, I have one more point. So this is real because this happened to me. So for those of you that are moms, we buy all of these sports bras, we have a baby, our bodies change, mm. and we try to squeeze back in to the sports bras from before. For some of us, that might not be an issue, whether it's the fact that your boobs have just changed due to hormones, whether you're carrying more weight or less weight, your body has gone through so much. You giving up on those old sports bras does not mean that you are, you've gained weight or that your body is not as great as it was before. It's just different. Change does not necessarily mean a bad thing. It's body composition. Yeah. So you may have been smaller up front and bigger at the back. Now that's changed. Exactly. Like your body just made a tiny human. You need to cut it some slack. Get rid of all those sports bras if they make you sad to put them on and find something that fits. Good okay? point. Right? Find some gear she told that me that. She's like, get rid of all that shit. Happy. She's like, like, what was the last time you wore that? Do you remember this conversation? Because yeah. I have this like gigantic walk-in closet yeah. and there's like probably like... There's a, literally dust on some of the things. I'm like, like what is going well, like, on Well, like, when was the last time we had a bar day? <laughs> right? Like, let's be honest. True. But yeah. some of the stuff, like it took me a long time, like even though digressing from bra size, even though my size might be similar to what it was before overall, like small, medium, large type thing, the way my body is shaped is so different. And it mm. took me such a long time to embrace that and love that. But now, I just focus on now. And if it doesn't fit, yeah. see you later, alligator. And guess what? Like, also, you want to be excited. Like, sometimes, especially at the beginning, like, you're not necessarily looking forward to it because it's still really difficult. Or maybe you'll never, never look forward to it and it'll always seem like a chore. But if you have something nice to put on, know, and I'm not talking good. like money nice, I'm just saying something you enjoy putting on and something that feels good because if it's against your skin, you know, oh my gosh, when I jump in this bra, like this happens, like you're not gonna, it's not Chocolate gonna be exciting. Chocolate falls on the track. Yeah, that happens. Um, yeah, so definitely <laughs> pick clothes that excite you and that um, don't hinder anything and that add to your, um, Excitement. Excitement. Because if you, if, you, if you look good and you feel good, you're going to work hard. You're going to snap that selfie after. You're going to be more accountable. You're going to show people, hey, I did this today. And the best way to keep with it, in my opinion, for me, is to be accountable. Right? Like if, if you want to commit to something that you don't think you can actually do, just tell a whole bunch of people. Mm, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's work. All right. Let's do it, guys. Okay, so today, oh, wait. today wait, wait. we are done. doing a cardio party. Oh yeah, and that's how it's done. One, oh, one. <laughs> today is our cardio party. We're gonna blast your entire body. We don't need any equipment for the actual workout, but if you're gonna stick around for those finishers, which you are, because yeah, we're gonna battle that bra bulge, we do need a stability ball, your dumbbells, your weighted vest, and if you'd like your pink thingy, okay? So for our cardio, we're doing that timing of 30 five seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna get right into our warm up. So the warm up is those 30 second movements. So 30 seconds right into the next 30 seconds. All right, okay, so here we go. Right into that warm up. So you guys will recognize this warm up. Remember, we're keeping with the same warm up for an entire week in the month of January. Just loosening up all of those joints, warming up all the muscles that we're about to work. So these movements are not quite as quick tempoed as some of the movements we'll do in the workout. 10 seconds. moving in our bodies nice and warm. Two and one. All right, let's go. So a forward lunge forward with, the with the rotation. You might be a little creaky at the beginning. So just slow down that rotation. Keep those hips forward, and remember we're rotating through the thoracic. That's the upper rib cage area. We've got 10 more seconds here. If it helps you to hold your hands out like this, you can do so. I feel like R2-D2 like this. Last one. Or C-3PO. <laughs> All right, okay. reach over. So that side line, step that foot way out. This is my favorite. 
This just takes me back to the 80s. I know, it makes me think, oh, I dance with the love. Yeah. I want to feel the heat with the You just love. picked up the tempo. Yeah, right away, right? Just add music and everything changes. OK, we're going to come down to the ground for those wide mountain climbers. Remember, we want our hands directly below the shoulders. Soft bend in the elbows if you tend to hyperextend. And we're just hopping those legs to the outside of our planted hand. Tap, tap, tap. Got 10 more seconds here. Almost. Push through those palms. And rest. Okay, so now we're coming into that pipe. Do a toe tap. Really planting through that hand on the ground. Connect your palm, connect the balls of all of those fingers before that opposite hand moves away from the ground. Try and reach as far back on that foot as you can to get in more mobility. Almost there, almost Five there. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, all the way up on our feet. We have those alternating lateral lunges. We're gonna go nice and deep over to the right and come back to center before we take it over to the other side, okay? There we go. Do we have space here? We have space. So you're bringing the hips back, watching that front knee. It's important to use proper form in the warm up too, or else you might be warming up the wrong parts of your body and getting in those bad movement habits. All right, let's get those knees, knees up. Make that bra work for you. <laughs> it works. Fish. It works. Tap, 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 tap. So here we're thinking about really breaking 90 degrees at the hip pace. Plus five, four, put your hands three, here. Two, one. Nice big circles with those arms. Forward and back. Nice and big. Oh, it feels so good. It does. So you might start to feel a little bit of muscle stiffness as we go through these workouts. You want to make sure that you're taking care of your recovery as well, okay? We'll touch on that in another upcoming 101. Three, three seconds. seconds. Two and one. Okay, 15 seconds for that very first exercise. We have a lateral shuffle to a burpee, okay? A little demo. We're Sorry. up and down from the ground a lot today, so we are foregoing the best. But if you want to add it, go for it, okay? Run in two and one. So we're shuffling laterally and then dropping down. Don't forget the jump at the top of that burpee. And our chest is going all the way down to the ground. So we're, we're doing, hitting the deck. <laughs> we're doing laps today, guys. You're my pacemaker today? Yep. <laughs> my pace car. Woo! All right, 15 seconds rest. We're gonna slow it down a bit, go out to inchworm. So walking out to that plank. And then in and out, we're gonna go out. in and out with the feet for that plank jack and back up. In two, one. one. So we know it's cardio day. You want to add some speed to it. Get that heart rate up. But watch the form. Don't let your hips flip flop too much as you walk those hands in and out. And really focus on pulling the belly button in and up towards the spine, especially when you're jacking those legs up to the side. Keep going. Or what do we else do we call them? A walks or something? drivers, A steps, A steps. So many different names. So many names. So this is what we'll be doing. We're basically two. just dancing it out. One. One. Opposite hand. You want to get like a real rhythm going. It's so funny. We start doing this and music starts playing in my brain. Yeah. This is 
is like a warm up for runners too. Today it's Whitney. Oh, I did it! Oh my gosh! No joke, I actually just had that. Did you sing that? Same brain. Did you already sing it about that? Wow. I only remember now. Same foggy brain. Should just be asking myself. Did we sing that earlier? Alright. Okay. We have a plank. To a corkscrew. So we're coming down to the ground, hands below the shoulders, really retract the shoulder blades, don't let the chest dip down to the ground. I'm going to demo what that looks like. Okay, so from here, we are kicking out to the side. All right, come back to center, plank jack, other side, just a little kick. A little, hi -ya. So if you guys can't get that leg hi -ya. through all the way, like this might look easy. It's actually really, it's a really difficult move. So Take some coordination. Just get as much of a kick through as you can. First start by just landing that weight on the hand and embracing that core. So really contracting that abdominal so that you're nice and braced so that you can destabilize and lift that leg off the ground. If you can't lift it yet, don't worry about it. And don't forget that shoulder placement. Hands directly below the shoulders. All right, okay, kicks. coming up. Kicking our butts for six. And then ice skating for three. One, two, two three. three. Butt kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to those butt kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, This is three. a whole other ball game to like coordinate it. I know. We're working on our endurance today. A little bit of agility. Ah! I know. <laughs> okay. All right, now some frog jumps to broad jumps. What does that mean? What does that mean? We're going primal. <laughs> so we're coming down into our frog squat position, exploding up, landing, and then leaping forward on nice flat feet. Okay? Here we go. Ready? That bell means go. Shuffle back. So, whoops, cheater. <laughs> so when you use those quads, you're gonna really I keep doing it. Can't talk, can't talk and sure go. <laughs> you're gonna really feel that oxygen. You know, it takes a lot of power. So you're gonna feel that depletion of oxygen almost right away. So Slow it down if you have to. Okay, this one's so much fun. Have so fun with much it. fun. It's called a predator jack. Demo, three seconds. So channel your inner predator with that predator jack. Okay? Any more jumping. Let's go. like a predator. Suspicious. So suspicious. Whew. All so right. Suspicious. <laughs> shuffle lunge. Okay. So two shuffles. And one lunge. And one lunge. Here we go. Ah, I missed it. One, two. So we're staying in the same spot. Alternating which leg drops back for your lunge. Hello, quads. Seriously. Where you been all my life? So guys, this is the last move in the first round. It is hot in here. Oh, spitzing. What did uh, you call it? Spitzing, yeah. No, what did you call the bra? Uh, wicking. Wicking. <laughs> Wicked. Wicked. All right, back to the top. From shuffle. Oh, great burpees. Here we go, guys. Shuffle to the side. If you want to up the intensity here, try getting your hands off the ground for those burpees. 
If you want to lift them the intensity, do the shuffle. Come down. You don't have to go all the way to the ground. And then back up. It's cardio day. So a quick sprawl to decrease all the way to the ground and explode up to increase. And then that in and out hop. Okay. In five, four, three, two. Here we go. Watch the placement of those hands at the end. So in. Stand all the way up. Use right your core to get you there. And those glutes. It's like a good morning. Pulling on up. In that plank, have those hips down, not Woo! up in the air. If you guys have a mirror at home, it's really awesome for the first little bit how to my work out back and forth in front of the mirror. The mirrors at the gym aren't for selfies, believe it or not. You're actually supposed to watch your form. I mean, <laughs> yeah. All right, take your to salt. A mirror is important for strength days. For sure. When you're loading your movement. For cardio days, just move, I think, right? Unless, of course, you're really rounding through your back. Definitely I said move. It, I said it a couple days ago. The only time that spine should round is during ab work, flexion or extension. Five seconds. Otherwise, straight as an arrow. <laughs> Okay, right. we're coming down into the plank again, jack out, and then that corkscrew. Woo! Remember the info we gave you on the corkscrew? Brace that core. So out here, it's a jack, shoulders. easy part. Now this wrist would be directly under the shoulder. I'm gonna twist, see my feet pivoting, and then I'm gonna kick through. So we really wanna light up that oblique, that side abdominal. It's also good for the adductors. If you're a new mom and you're cleared to do this workout, you're gonna feel it 10 in seconds. here, to be completely honest, okay? You guys may feel a lot of weakness because hormonally you haven't come back to that strength in there yet. It takes two years. Yeah, everything is not reset. So if you can't do that part, like I said, don't worry about it. It takes two years for your body to get rid of all that relaxing but kicks. So you really do need to be mindful during a mobility day or even cardio day of your six. range of motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, two skaters. One, two, did we have three? Five, six. Ah. Just move. Two, three. So two, you can tap three. that foot down behind you or hover it off the ground. Whatever works for your body. second lap so if you're here with us we're halfway there stay with us guys look at all this wicking that's happening <laughs> wick it that's self wick it good <laughs> wick it wick right. it good frog jumps so here we go first explode up, up then bound forward shuffle back so on that bound notice I'm coming from my deep squat I'm using the momentum from my arms to propel me forward and I'm trying not to land on my toes, but on the balls of your feet, okay? And then we're shuffling back. So reset after that frog jump, and then come back. Reset, bound. Last one. Woo! I feel that. Oh, All right, more jumping. How did her jack? So I what like type of bra would we use for this? High impact. High impact. No freaking doubt. This is the perfect example. You do not want a nip slip on the track, okay? Roar! <laughs> I feel like Simba. You're teaching me to roar.
Papa. You're welcome, Simba. Now I can really protect the kingdom. <laughs> My favorite right. part of the Lion King. Somebody. Shuffle lunch next. Anybody. Oh. Remember that one? No, tell me. It's after Papa died. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Man. He was in the quarry. Oh no. Yeah, Somebody. Do Anybody. After you have kids, movies touch you in a whole new way. Yes. I couldn't watch anything violent or I couldn't even watch a Pampers commercial without crying. Yeah. I'm on my way. <laughs> Last one. One more. We lie. Sometimes we should. Just a little to get you to the end. Just ending the truth. Two laps. How many more? Wicked. Wicked good. One more. Wicked. Wicked good. Four seconds. Three, starting with those burpees. Lateral shuffle, here we go. Lateral oh, shuffle. Wrong sound bite. So, a lot of people complain about burpees. They're actually one of the best total body exercises you can do, okay? You got your core, arms, shoulders, chest, glutes. We're working on agility, we're working on explosiveness, Watch those hips. Don't let them flip off. No fish out of water. Why did I just feel the jack? Yes. My brain is not at it. I am a jack. Yeah, baby, I like it. Jack at the bottom. Sometimes the body knows what you want. Jack at the top. More than you do. Oh, yeah. Still have to do the jack at the bottom, don't I? Jack in the bottom. Juice. 12 minutes. I got lots of juice. <laughs> no, you're losing I'm it. I'm wicked. 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 All right. Okay. Butt kicks. What are you going into here? Uh, we're going to power. Oh, yes. Skips. Love. Love. You, you know, know what else? I like the rhythm of this. What song are you thinking right now? Rhythm dancing. No. I'm thinking running just as fast as we can. Holding on to one another's hands. Trying to get, to get away. away into the night. Then you put your arms around me. <laughs> so I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Think we're alone now. Beating in the heart is the only sound. <laughs> Come on, Tiffany. <laughs> I love that song. Man, we get off course sometimes. Now, butt kicks. Skaters. Ooh. Get on your ex. See, we need to watch the spacing here. Here Ooh. we go. go. One, two, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you're coming on the highway. Yeah, see that? I'm just turning three, it into four, something five, new. Six. Two, three. I'm coming over to you. Yes, communication in a relationship. He. <laughs> so true. Do I see you more than I see my husband? Possibly. It might be a thing. I see you more than I see myself in the mirror. <laughs> so Maybe I'm your reflection. I'm like, oh wait. <laughs> oh wait, she looks nothing like me. My little half pint. Let me see yours, come here. Will you tell me? All right, okay. next, frog jumps. Here we Jesus, go. Jesus, did we just do these? It feels like it. Reset. Reset. Boom. Okay, let's see how quiet we can make it, okay? Depends whose baby's sleeping. Yours or mine? Yours. Quiet, then. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter slept through anything. Moms and dads, do you not know every crack in your floor? Oh my god. The Mission Impossible stunts we pull to get out of the bedroom. 
That's do, a cardio do, do, workout. Do. All right. Okay. My face is. Yes. Ah! After more again. Yes. Oh my god. You're leading the tribe this time, okay? I don't think I want to be. Come on. Jess is ready. Get ready. Rawr! Yeah! Initiation. Well done. It's the war club. Oh I my like god, what next? So right, we can shuffle. Shuffle lunge. I like these two actually. shuffles. One lunge. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. 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 I'm so so glad we got through this one. I know. I'm not gonna lie, it's a hard one for me today. Do you have your best on at home? No joke. Yeah, what's happening with my feet here? Talking, walking. Woo! Keep it going. 10 seconds. I want to give up too, guys. Honestly, burning. We're moving into back after this. So your legs are done for the day. Woo! We did it! Yes, okay. we did it. Here we go to finisher. Okay. Finisher today. Then rolls that you have when you put on that tight compression sports bra. She doesn't have any. That's because she works not to have any. But that's what we'll be doing. So get your stability ball, your pink thing, your weights, and your vest. We're doing it all. All right, let's pile it on. Time to finish.